Hello. Hello, I can hear you. Good morning, sir. Okay. Oh, good morning, ma'am. Okay. Yes, sir. Sorry. We are still on the platform. I was not hearing before, but I'm just hearing now. Okay, okay, okay. The although I've been awake before six, I needed to do one or two things. And I remember that I was not having data so I was again, so I had to quickly subscribe. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we are grateful to you. We honor and praise your holy name because of your love. We thank you because of whom you are. Thank you so much, Lord God, because of your uh, mightiness, your power. Thank you for the pastor's prayer meeting yesterday. And thank you for how we were challenged by your servant. Thank you so much, Lord God, because of what you have planned and purposed to do for us. Thank you so much, Lord, because of the children you have helped us to bring to this life as caretaker, you the owner. And this morning, we'll be spending time to pray for them. And Lord God, we know that you are going to answer us. There is no Amen. We pray for the children that can be enough. In this yes. world, it's uh, infested with a lot of things. It's like a world full of battle, a world full of a lot of things. And they say these children are having proper defense to prayer. They might be swallowed and be overwhelmed by the uh, things of life. Spirit of the living God, help us as parents not to fail you in this regard. In the name Amen. of Jesus Christ, help Amen. us to be given. Amen. Help us to be children day and night. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' Amen. name, we pray. Amen. Amen. This time, we want to begin to give thanks to God and worship His holy name. We want to begin to honor the Lord, the great God, the mighty and powerful God. We want to exist because of him. We appreciate you, we magnify you, we exalt you, we give you honor and adoration. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your kindness, thank you for your mercy. The one who are for time in memorial. To you be all the glory, to you be all the honor, to you be all the adoration in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's praise his holy name. 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 So adore him. The King of Kings, the King of Kings, the Lord of Glory, the one who has been from time immemorial. So let's worship Him. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I want to thank Him because of the way He is going to enable us to pray this morning for our children. Thank you. Let's 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 thank you. let us thank that our prayer request will get to your presence and attention will be given to all our requests in the name of Jesus. We thank you because we are the Lord that I have you here. May we trust you. Thank you, Father. I have you, Lord, as Father. Amen. Amen. We are looking at this prayer this morning as we engage in prayer for our children and the I want, us, I want us to get this very quick. In Psalm 127, in verses 1 to 3, or verses 1 to 5, verses 1 to 5. So we're reading everything. Psalm 123, verses 1 to 5. Except the Lord build the house, the labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman wicked but in vain. 
it is vain for you to rise up early to sit late to eat the bread of sorrow, for so he giveth his beloved sleep. Look, children are the heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrow are in the hand of a mighty man, so are the children of the youth. Happy is the man that has his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. May this be the description of our children, that they will speak Amen. with enemies in the gate in Jesus' name. And Amen. he said, he is the man that has his quiver full of these children. And then eventually, and by and by, they will become a defender. They will be able to speak with enemy in the gate. And the part of the thing we'll also be praying about are people who don't even have their quiver uh, at all, at all. They don't even have, not even a child, and they've been married. So we remember them in prayer even this morning. And then not only that, we also remember people whose children have become so wayward, and they are causing them a lot of headache and a lot of pain. I mean, children that have become another thing, and Entirely. There are children who were brought up in the church, brought up in the Lord, and then they have become like the Yahoo, Yahoo boys and all of that. There are children who were children of the Lord. They were in children church and all that, but they are already turning to wrong girls, wrong girls, wrong girls. You will, when you see some children, you will never know they have been to church at any point in their life. There is no trace that show that. They have ever been to the church. The enemy actually did that. The enemy had done that. And the enemy had hijacked them, hijacked their destiny. And so there are many things that are happening in this world. A lot of bombardment, a lot of people enslaved with one thing or the other. And that's why we're trusting the Lord that as the Lord helped us this morning to, to really pray, the Lord will hear us and the Lord will answer us in Jesus' name. Verse 4 says, the Lord build the house. Except the Lord build the life of our children, we may just be laboring in vain. Have you realized that sometimes, even so-called spiritual leaders, spiritual uh, leaders and all of that, and then you wonder, why would the children not go in their way? Even in the in the Old Testament, it was like that. Someone like Samuel, someone like Eli, and then the children were going a wire. They were going in their own direction. And then may we not be failure in the, in this aspect of our lives in Jesus' name. May God not mm -hmm. condemn, God not uh, query us. May we not receive internal query for not doing the right thing in the upbringing of our children in Jesus' name. May God not frown at us for not taking care the way we do. That's why this morning we want to go before the Lord in the name of Jesus. We want to first pray. We want to first ask the Lord on our home behalf before we face the children now. We want to pray that all the quality that is required as parent, all the quality that is required as a mother, the quality required as father, the quality required. You know, several times I will post on Facebook, I will try to talk to the parent. You find a parent who will, who will be behaving in a particular way, and yet you want to come and teach the children. And then I posted, I think it was last week. How could a parent be doing something, uh, having a moral affair? And then you think you can train that children, uh, train your child, train your daughter or your son, and then not to go in that direction. Even if you are saying, don't do this, don't do this, that child is looking at you. He's seeing what you are doing. He's seeing what you are saying. He see how you are moving with side chick. He see how you are unfaithful to uh, daddy. He see how you are unfaithful to mommy. And you see how you are actually living and all of that. And it is what you are doing that child is going to copy. There are many parents who had misled their children and who had made their children to be drowned in the in the seal of sin. Uh, is as a result of their lifestyle that their children probably left the church, abandoned the church because they felt their mother, their father were hypocrites. They were not sincere. And they felt that, okay, maybe the God of the Bible is not real because their father, their mother are not real. As real Christians, they are just hypocrites and they, they go to church, but their life are not changed. And the truth. Oh, 
people may follow, that the God of heaven will help us and give all the necessary virtues, all the virtue needed to really do our best, to really give our best. This prayer is very important. You want to cry to God to help you, to help you that you will not fail him in this regard. I will go to the Lord in prayer. Father, Lord, Lord, thank you for blessing your love for this world. Thank you, Father, for what you shared with us. Holy Father, I am here. I'm asking, oh God, that you will help me. Be an example to my children, an example of family, an example of faithfulness, an example of love, an example of love, an example, oh God, of Bible believer. The Bible says, that should be an example of belief in words, in doctrine, O oh God, in conversation. Lord, I am praying, I'm asking, O oh God, make me an example of holiness, an example, O oh God, of a living Bible, an example, O oh God, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, do not forget, do not forget, do not forget that I uh, all of these things were is not by human strength. We just read it now that except the Lord build the house, they will build the building vain. In other words, except the Lord intervene in the life of the children, how do you think they will live for God? You go to Twitter and see what is happening to Gen Z. They are in the church yet. The influence on in the internet is more than what they hear in the church. Go to Twitter and see what children are doing. You go to just only that uh, videos of that man who has slept or who has slept with over 400 women and all of that. You go to Twitter, go to fa oh, Facebook. Even when you are not looking for the video, they think they are splashing it on you right there. And then you find you find many of those young people, oh, send me the video. Oh, I need the video. And then you are wondering, what will somebody be watching naked person? And what, what will you be doing with watching things that, that will inflame your heart, inflame your soul, and cut you off? I had made posts about that. I mean, not even one post. To really, really challenge the people. And they so-called Christians. And then they are demanding for this, demanding for that. And you know what the devil is doing? And I made it very clear in my post last week. The devil has agenda. The devil is not satisfied that the man has lived a very immoral, licentious, promiscuous, and all kinds of uh, deadly life. But the devil is not satisfied. The devil wants to enslave as many people. Again, he wants to enslave as many as he wants. He wants to enslave. He wants to pray. Our children will not be enslaved by the tactics of Satan. My children will not be enslaved. Please, as I lead the prayer, you cry to God. Even if your children are adults already, even if they are adults, even if they are teenagers, even if they are still children, and I can tell you story. I relate with children as much as I pastor a church. I relate with children. I relate with young people. If I tell you issues, you will pray. You want to cry to God. The devil will not be enslaved by child. The devil will not be enslaved by the devil. My children will not be enslaved by demons. My children will not be enslaved by My children will not be enslaved by the power of the Holy Ghost. Mighty Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, and by your grace and by your mighty power, I pray you will deliver my children, O oh God. You will deliver our children, O oh God, from the influence of the devil, from the tactics of the devil. O oh God, I pray. Let our children have been enslaved, O oh God. Father, deliver our children, O oh God, from every spirit. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, I pray. Our children will not be, O oh God, Father, victims, O oh God, Father. Of oh God the devil, all oh, oh God the tactics of the devil to entrap our children, who oh God to make them who oh God what you have not oh God for them to be. Oh Lord, and Jesus, you will deliver your power in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 A bis, a bis, hold on. A school invited me to come and minister. 
I don't want to even say it too much since we are a member of the church, so I can mention, but I don't like mentioning it at times. I don't even like mentioning it, but because we are leaders, so that's why I'm going to do that. It was the Deeper Life High School, and it was a night ministration. This is our own school now, B school for that matter. And then I got to that with the venue of the 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 school and all of that. Being a night ministration, so I uh, mean I will have to pass the night in that school. And then after giving the word and all of that, so many of the children surrendered their life to Jesus. And then it was time for counseling. There was so much that came for counseling. There was so much. I counseled till 11, whether 33 or so, or 11. I mean, it was late. It was late. They had to come and rescue me. The principal and the, one of the brother, I think we are warrior brother and all of because it was... <sighs> What kind of cases are all this one? And then a child came and said, oh, it was my uncle, it was my cousin, defilement. <laughs> one came, okay, she got herself defied and got her younger sister def I mean, it was, it was, I was almost sharing tears. I, I was a preacher and they're canceling them now, but it's like I should be crying. I mean, I felt so bad with the level of defilement of these children. And then, I mean, not that they were defiling school, so to say, no, it was at all. But unfortunately, the parents weren't aware. Now, there was one who said that, uh, I'm talking of most of the children that came were in GSS. Most of them, SS came quite all right, but most of the cases that were very pathetic were GSS students. Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus. Now, one came and said uh, gss if i still remember gss and then she said she was uh, she had the uh, what was her position the previous time whether first or so from 10 uh, from first, whether she moved to 10 if my brain served me right and then she she said while i was preaching i mentioned something and that was her problem she was crushing on a boy what does a child or a child, I mean a child, a t very small girl. What does she understand by crushing? That's the power of social media, the power of TV, the power of the thing they watch, the power of the things. I mean, the things they hear, they hear, they hear, they hear, they hear the what they do and all of that. And that get got distracted, got completely distracted, and it affected the academics. We want to pray. Every subtle enslavement on my child subtle, subtle, by virtue of the thing they they secretly watch on the internet. Watch on Twitter. Watch on z -Wall, Telemundo, and all those places. And then they have been enslaved. Their principle of life have become uh, something else. Their decision has become something else. Deliver them, deliver them, deliver them, oh God, by your power, by your power. Deliver them, oh God, deliver them, Lord, deliver them, deliver them, oh Lord, by your power, by your power. Deliver them, oh Lord, deliver them, oh God, deliver them, oh Lord, pray, pray. In the name of Esther, in the name of Elena Olanda, in the name of in the mind that picture of this blood is Mothers who are here and the uh, fathers who are here, particularly the mothers who stay mostly at home, who are here, we want to pray 
we must be on a watch out of the family members that we allow in our houses and then just handing over our daughters to them and all that many of the cases of defilement you will discover is uh, is usually close relations when you hear the word rapist or you hear the word pedophiles uh pedophiles are all these kind of adults who always have sexual interest in children and all that and then mm. there are many in the land now there are mm. many in the land pedophiles it's a it's a terrible disease so all mm. their interest towards children there was a video that was circulating uh in one of the uh, marriage uh, platforms where you have leaders and all of that and it, it was a terrible thing. How could a child, a child like, and then you find they don't care. Pedophile can mess up with a child of one year. Pedophile mm -hmm. can mess up with a child of two years. They don't have, it's a terrible, terrible issue. And then you find some of the children already having trauma. In another school like that, uh, I was ministering. I, I was uh, asked to talk on sexual purity. And then what I was talking, the children, the young people, of course, uh, the Lord touched them. There was a young man in the midst of the people. And then this, it was terrible. I think I've narrated the story here before, if my brain served me right. And then this young man came to me and he was telling me his uh, former life, his life when he, when he was in his former school. You know, some of these owners of school, their hands are not clean. That's the truth. Some of them are highly moral. Some of them are highly diabolical. Some of them are highly evil. One thing or the other. That's why another thing is not just to throw your child into a school. Now, here is what happened. And then this young boy, as I speak to you, that boy, only God will deliver him. Because even his academic is in shambles. A lot of things that affected the brain and affected him. Trauma and all of that. What was the problem? In his former school, I mean, he joined bad there, uh, whatever. And then even his chemistry teacher, I'm quoting him. I'm not adding to it. I'm quoting him. His own chemistry teacher was interested in him. And he was having a, okay. the, the girlfriend, the girl he was going out with, uh, if I can remember the way he put it, was the younger sister, whether of the chemistry teacher or so. Now, but something happened. The director, why is he said, I'm quoting him, Emmanuel by name. He said the director, why carried, he went to hotel. The director, why invited him to hotel. Can you imagine that? Director, wife, director, not teacher, wife, director, wife, ah. invited him to hotel. And the ah. chemistry teacher was aware because she came around. So it's like, where is the boy? I, I, I when I heard that one. I mean, I when you when see us, some people will go to schools, we minister, keep going to schools and all that. When you hear stories, I mean, story, and, and sometimes you will even wonder some of this issue of pornography that lead to terrible addiction or masturbation, you'll be discovering that they are from a Christian home, a, 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 I mean, a real Christian home, and then you are like, ah, what, how, did, how did all these things go wrong like this? I, I didn't know girls. All these girls, ch children are even addicted to terrible things like this. One had to write me a letter. Had to write me a letter. And then I had in the interview, I discovered she had been exposed to pornography when she was small. When terribly exposed. The thing, the thing affected her so much that she, she got to university. Another lady was referred to me. This one was a complete lesbian. Lesbian. All this one that we preach, uh, lesbian. Mm -hmm. There are lesbian, real lesbian. And that lady told me whether she has lost. I mean, I mean, she had messed up so much, so much. Mm -hmm. even, even when some of these uh, pastor want to help her, it's like it's another ball game entirely. And I remember that night while I was dealing with this girl uh, online. So a lot is happening. So when I'm leading prayer for our children, it's not a joke. A lot is happening. A lot. And I plead with us. I sometimes see the children. If I had not, they will do as if nothing is happening. When you get closer and interview, my, 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 my. When you get closer, one of my daughters who claimed to be, who thought she was strong, she was spiritual. Okay? Because she was spiritual. She wanted to help another boy to stand. She ended up being influenced by the boy. The, she came to report herself. 
she came to report her. She is born again, though. But she was trying to now assist a boy to stand. It was a boy that influenced her. It was telling me. That same girl was telling me how a pastor, a pastor, one of the pastors' son was telling her to send her to send this one uh, to him. And, he, and this is a boy, I know. This is a boy that I've got their house to teach. Ask me for your little picture. These are deeper, I mean, deeper life children. Deeper life children. A lot is happening. We want to cry to God. Oh, God. 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 God will deliver them. The only ghost will have it there. As many of them who are just playing people, they are playing their game with God. Let them not set them free. Pray. 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 Conviction will be firm. Their conviction will be firm. You know, many of our leaders and pastors here, you can tell even while you were on campus. Uh, you know, some of the you have a roommate who does not know God and then begins to tell you this and begins to tell you. You remember how you stood firm and you remember you resistance and those uh, classmates, classmates, and the rest of them. You remember mm -hmm. how playing uh, churchianity and then they claim to be spiritual but they were never spiritual and then you have to minister to them and challenge them but what we find with many of our young people today is that they get to the same camp where we have gone over the years and by the grace of god we came out triumphantly and then they go there and save uh, all the things they were taught at home and it's just one semester everything had been eroded by all those boys over there and then by the time they come they become like the shadow of themselves and then you are wondering was it not the same campus i went even went to more than one campus and all of that and what is the problem with you what exactly went wrong? what is your problem just one semester you have changed just two semesters you haven't even spent that many years on campus and then everything had been eroded completely there's no conviction anymore, no principle for life anymore. We want to pray. Our children's conviction will be firm. About the Bible, it will be firm. About God, it will be firm. Your child will not be coming home and be asking some silly questions. Is there still heaven? Is there still hell? And they begin to ask you all kinds of questions. And uh, would you say that is, would you say God will look unto you, God? My own condition the Bible. So we be God, so we be the heart of this. Oh God, 
also the heart of these children the fear of God the beginning of the beginning of knowledge the fear of God is the hatred of evil Almighty God put your fear into the heart of our children oh God that their conviction has on God that their conviction be strong on the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ they will stand uncompromisingly for the word of God, for the totality of the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All those who they will all be able to build them in the evil. They will not be able to sin. They will not be able to entice them and put them into evil. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our children will be great. Our children will not be proper. We are going Amen. to pray that heaven will make them great. Now, I Amen. want to say, say this. Now, whenever we plan to pray for our children, let's pray with all of our heart. Do you know that? Do you know as a parent? I want to eat this. This, this should not, not shock us because the reason why some of us sometimes in life is that. Probably there were no people that interceded for us. Probably. Probably mm. there were no people that paved way for us in prayer. Sometimes you wonder some children how they... Okay, maybe we should go and read about the history of Jonathan Edward. I don't know the kind of prayer he prayed. I don't know. Because that lesson from Jonathan Edward splashed over many generations. I, I mean, I mean, I don't know the kind of prayer. That man must have Transgenerational, transgenerational prayer. Transgenerational prayer. Because the thing affected that is lineage like that. To the mm. point of a senator in the US, I mean, not just only about men of God, I mean, even in the terms of greatness and all of that. Like that, like that, somebody paid that price. And we can pay price. Since probably nobody paid price for all, I can say that nobody paid price for me. As a matter of fact, the kind of family I came from, that's the truth. We who prayed for me? Maybe except the external people. But within the house, who prayed? Who prayed? And then so it's just God's mercy. God brought me out. But we have some children who are parents, who are who are Christian, and then from their childhood, even from their womb, they pray. Even when the child wants to misbehave. The only ghost look at all of the sacrifices. You know, there's this statement I had. I don't know whether it was Pastor Shegu that made that statement many years ago in Makoko. Many years ago. Maybe he can remember. I don't know whether it was the one, but I think it was from Lagos. I had that one. Not in that a child with multitude of prayer will not perish. I don't know whether it was the one. Many, many years ago in Makoko. And then uh, it should be Makoko, it should be Lagos. I had that statement. Not a data state here. I can't remember now, but it'll be many years. And that statement is true. A child with multitude of prayer will not perish. Let that mm -hmm. child be Yahoo Yahoo. That child will not perish at last. It can be at the point of death. That child will realize there is a God in heaven and he will surrender to Jesus. So please, let's not think we are wasting time when we are praying for the children. Never, never, we are not wasting time. Sometimes you don't see something I'm working for your children. It is the, you have sown the seed in prayer. So we are going to pray. My child will be great. Make sure that your child. Make sure they want to they want. They want. Oh, someone you will be great. Oh, I know, do what God will take you higher. You will not find it difficult in life. The pain and the agony I went through, you will not go through it. Life will be easy for you. I know, do what. Life will go well for you. Fair of him. Let's prophesy and declare to our children. Declare over him. Declare over in the name of Jesus. If they are on campus already, they will graduate with full class. And when they graduate with they will not marry. They will not marry 
Absalom. They will marry someone that will destroy their destiny. Life will be sweet for them. In the name of Jesus, shall we pray? Mighty men will pray. Lastly, lastly, we want to remember uh, those who are looking up to God for the fruit of the womb. The God of heaven will show them mercy, whatever is the problem, close pants down. Whatever is the problem, whatever is the problem, whatever is the problem, this is here to remove all of those rubbish, all of those things. Let's cry to God to heal them and give them the children the desire. Give them the children the desire. Let the Lord God answer our brothers and sisters who desire children. Let's pray. Over to Pastor 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 Mike. Hello, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sorry, please. Um, uh, Pastor Yami, that sister in the hospital. Yes, uh, I'm... Yeah, yes, Just briefly pray for her. Okay, Let's okay. Before we run off. Sister Thank Gift, you. I made the sister Gift. Yes. Uh, uh, so she's uh, battling with cancer. And uh, so I trust in the Lord God. Yesterday when I got the... And then... The leg was very big, very big, and so big. So I left there yesterday. So I left there yesterday. So I got to wait. So I got to wait for her that. So I got to wait for her that. And all of the God of God will have it. And all of the God of God will have it. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. That surprised me. Pastor, please, let's hear this. Very surprising thing she told me yesterday. Now, before now, she shared something with me of, uh, you know, when uh, some people will say they have a dream, and somebody is trying to take them away or blah, blah, blah. That was something. Oh. Then yesterday, yesterday, she told me something. On Saturday, a sister sent me a video. One of our one of our one of the video about how uh, tomato and white beans. Well, there's this thing they call shower shop. We, do, we know it. No, one foot no, 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 So how it cure cancer and all of that. So I clicked the video. I was listening to it, and I felt maybe I will also tell them about the video. So I had not even told them. So when I got there, I don't know whether I remember to even show them the video and all that because I met the father there. Then mm -hmm. uh, she was not sharing a dream she had. How she said she was going, like she was going. Then a woman who was carrying something was not like, Why are you going? She said, Leave me alone. She was like, Going. When you say somebody is going, you understand. So, so the woman was not like, Uh uh. It's like you are saying you are going when things are already, uh, like when you are, let me use my own word. You are, when you are already receiving cure and all of that, and uh, you are saying you are going and all that. The woman now mentions our uh, shower shop. Uh uh. That she should take shower. <laughs> I could not laugh yesterday. Who can I talk with this one now? I want to show you video on shower shop. You said you had a dream when I've not even told you anything about shower shop. So that was where I now remember to bring the video. That, uh, that's the same thing I wanted to tell you now about the shower shop, something and all of that. So I believe God has started something for that uh, dream. That's like a revelation, like telling her that the things are already happening, you cannot go and die. 
and we have declared over her she will not die. Truly, she will not die. So we want to just pray like that God of heaven will perfect her health in the name of the sister of the best. The God of heaven will cure the best everything. Over to Pastor Shego. Uh, Pastor Mike. Okay, let's pray for her. Let's pray for her. And God will touch her. God will perfect her and her health in the name of Jesus. Jesus is the supernatural doctor. He performs operations before without instrument. Let's pray that the Lord will touch her. 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 The Oh God, I want to take them to hell. I want, I want to make them twice the daughter of hell. Only Father will pray. We stand against them. We rebuke them in the name of the Lord. And we rescue our children out of their hands, out of their territory. In Jesus' name. Amen. We decree our children will not perish. We decree our children will not die.
you will see the you I will read one from the, the Bible. Mm -hmm. Then he called Paul for his son and said, Gather around so I can tell you what happened to you in days to come. Uh, to me, I count it as an aspect of prayer. Uh, and I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ as we are praying for our children, the fortune will follow them in Jesus' name. Uh, uh, what? When you look at it, you, you can see the same thing. Jacob, he prayed for the son of uh, Joseph. And then you can see that he said, may God be be good to you, just like he was to Ephraim and Manasseh. Um, when you look at the Isaac too, the same thing, the prayer he prayed for, uh, somebody reminded me, the prayer he prayed for Jacob up to now is still following. So I see that, that there's a power in praying for our children and by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, as we have realized this, that prayer will continue to follow them to the eternity in Jesus' name. So in about two minutes we have, I want you to open your mouth and declare whatever you want for your children. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, as Jacob pray for his children, as I see pray for his children, as we have seen a lot of them, people in the in the old time pray for their children. That prayer we follow them in Jesus' name. Let us open our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Mention their name. Mention their name. That I put this my child into your hand. I bring this my child into your hand. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. This will happen to him. So says is his portion. I bring my children into your hand, O oh Lord. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, they will not miss eternity. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, my children will not miss eternity. But I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you let me know that seek you first the kingdom of God and all other things shall be added unto you. I collect all my, my pastors online. I bring the spirit of unity to pray for my children that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, anything they will be engaged. They will consider eternity as the first thing in their life in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the way of the Lord, the commandment of the Lord, the law of the Lord, we let it, we let it continue to dwell in the heart of my children in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, the, the sign of this is my children. The sign of this is my children. You will put, you, you will put in the life of my children children in the body of my children wherever they are we put that sign into them in the name of jesus christ almighty father i say pray jacob pray and we can see significance of that prayer in the life of the children or the life of the grandchildren or their grandchildren i pray by the power and the blood of jesus as we have announced today this evening i declare Eternity, eternity for my children. I declare prosperity for them. I declare security under the umbrella of Almighty God. I declare it for them by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, spiritually, financially, physically, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. My children will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, there's nothing to be more than your mercy. Anywhere they go, they will receive the mercy of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are ever the earth among the billions, among the billions of people. My children shall be the earth and not in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty oh, Father, you will continue to watch them. You will continue to guard them. Your grace will be sufficient for them in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus. Uh, Pastor, you me to conclude. Pastor, you me. It's like immediately finishing the prayer now, he leaves us. The same thing last week. Is it there? Okay. Pastor Mike, you can conclude for us. 
Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. We want to bless your name. We want to thank you. Father, we want to appreciate you. We want to thank give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor. Thank you, Father, for giving us children. Thank you, Father, for giving us children. Children who we love the Lord. Children who we serve the Lord. Oh Lord, we are praying and we are asking, oh God, we saw the life, oh God, of Jacob. When Jacob was to die, he told the children, he called them together. He mm. said, let me tell you what is the truth of you. Mm. He started blessing them. Oh Lord, I pray. Father, the Bible says it is written. I have received a commandment to bless. I have blessed and nothing, I cannot reverse it. Oh Lord, in the name of the Father, all our children, all the children of the pastor, all the children of the leaders, all the children of the people joining us on, on this all God prayer online. Oh Lord, we bless every child wherever they are, wherever they are. Those who are in their school, in primary school, in secondary school, in the tertiary institution, those who are in colleges, those who are travel abroad, wherever our children may be. Holy Father, on the face of the earth, Holy God, we bless them. In the name of the Father, we bless them. In the name of the Son, we bless them. In the name of the Holy Spirit, we bless them. Oh God, we bless our children, we Amen. bless them with, we bless them with long life, we Amen. bless them over with good health. Oh God, Amen. I pray our children will be healthy, they will Amen. not die young. Our Amen. Our eyes in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. We Amen. Show our children the blood of Jesus. Our Amen. children will not stray away like a spray dog. Amen. Amen. I pray. All the principles we have taught there, all the principles of godliness, the principle of holiness, the principle of righteousness, oh Lord, I pray, they will not depart from me in Jesus' name. Amen. In the way of the Lord, and when they are gone, they will not depart from me. Oh Lord, we pray by your grace and by your mighty power, all those who will be saved from the pit of hell to come and free our children to take them away from us oh lord i pray any link oh god our children are having who oh go with the wicked people the people who will hurt them people who will harm them oh lord that link we cut it off in jesus name amen, amen. 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 oh god bless our children who oh go academically bless them amen. spiritually bless them amen amen socially Amen. In all our applications, oh God, I pray. Ah, Lord, I am praying. Lord, I am praying. Lord, I am praying. Our children will be greater than us. Amen. Amen. Our children will get to places oh God will never go to. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ah, Amen. God, I am praying for this, my pastor. I am praying for all our pastors. I am praying for this, my mommy. I am praying for all our mothers. Oh God, oh Lord, I am praying. Ah, by your grace and by your power. Oh God, none of us, oh God, will labor in vain. Amen. Oh God, don't labor in vain. Oh Amen. Lord, I pray for that. Eventually, we and our children we will make it. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to make a mock of Pastor Mike. Eri Boro, Lord. Boro, Lord. I want to make a mock of Pastor Mike. Eri Boro, Lord. Boro, Lord. Yes. 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 Thank you, sir. We shall meet on Thursday. God bless you. Thank you very much.